Telangana characters which may look similar and I want to know whether you are able to differentiate these sounds when you see them. So let's get started. The first one is this pair. This comes in the vowel line. I told you that if there is a line here like this it becomes O and this is an apple hidden here. It's A. The next one. These two. If there are two lines cutting across, what is that? Mm, key. And one line drops off, it is sad. One line goes off, it's sa. This one. This looks like the Hindi A. This word is se. And if this turns towards the opposite side, without the line it becomes re. This one is K, L and T talking to each other. And this one is me. I am sure this is an easy guess. You remember the example? Two chopsticks holding on to noodles. So this is no. Noodle gets dropped off. Me. I drop the noodle. Me. Me. This one is in the Ra series. If there is a curl here, it's like a U hidden there. So this becomes Ru. And this is Ro. This one is in the first verbal line. Just a Z with a line above. This is A. Z with a C below. This is So. Soto was an example which I have given here. The C is. This letter, I told you it looks similar to Wa in Hindi language. Mm, this is Su. And if it points this side with a curl, this becomes Mu. Good, good, good going. Last three combinations. These three. I had already mentioned about it when we had discussed uh, the characters. If there is a knot below like this, it becomes Na series. It is Ne. Curled towards outside is Re. Curled inside is Wa. This is the T kind of characters. This is Ta. This one with a knot here, so it becomes Na. And this is chi. Remember that as this is the chin. So chi is the sound for this character. This is the L series. I have already covered this though still repeating it here. This one is ha. This is ho. This is ma and yo. I hope that the discussion on hiragana characters has given you a brief idea of how the character looks, what is the sound and the words which you have heard maybe they don't stick onto your mind but the more you keep hearing to the words your vocabulary of Japanese will improve. Only if you master hiragana characters can we move on to the next script which is katakana. So stay tuned for our next video on Katakana. Meet you soon. Bye-bye.